Oh, you freezing already. <laughs> Are you able to hear me? I can hear you. Your um, page is frozen. Oh, my page is can frozen? You? Oh, it looks yeah. fine to me. I'm but sorry. I can hear you now. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. I'm just sorry that my page is frozen. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but I apologize. Okay. All right. So I just want to ask you a few questions. Um, you said that uh, Nana and Eligio was um, doing having some sexual activities in the bed with the baby, right? Yeah. Okay. And then Nana was tripping. Well, she was tripping before that, right? She just yeah. started having some episodes, if you will, and nothing necessarily triggered that it was just you was trying to show Elysio a picture of a female well that was in the airport like you know on our way traveling uh that was the first time i noticed like uh oh you know i gotta watch you know how authentic i am around her i guess so mm -hmm. um, that was the first that was the first hint that she was gonna start changing you know now that i think that you know chief was out and that we were all together. She was kind of, you know, she was easing on into it. Right. But I'm talking about, like, when she really flipped out in the room, when you said she yeah. started, like, getting upset and uh, becoming physically upset, and mm -hmm. she had the baby in her hands. Yeah. Yeah, so that was when we were in the room. Um, and, yeah, she, she was just, like, standing there, like, catatonic, staring and he was in the shower. And I remember thinking, like, what is wrong with her? But, you know, I didn't say anything. I didn't I didn't know what was going to happen. But, um, yeah, so she was just, like, just out of nowhere. She just, he got in the shower, you know, and, like, the door was partially, like, open. So, like, because he calls to her and, like, has her get him her his towel or his soap or whatever he wants while he's in the shower. So she was kind of like whatever puttering around in the room and then all of a sudden she just like stood stood up straight and just stared at the wall like just stood there and I was like are you all right she was like she just kept staring and then finally started calling for her and she was like no you know and she started flipping out saying she didn't want to be there anymore and he might as well just be with me and this and that and you know grabbed the baby in her arm and ran out to the hallway and started punching holes in the wall holding mm -hmm. the baby. yeah that and was she before was... the sex that was you know several mm -hmm. hours before and she was holding on to the baby the entire time yeah well i mean you know once she ran out of the room i couldn't technically tell you that she was holding on to the baby but yeah i mean she had the baby in her arm and she ran out you know, causing the problem. He went after her, and she was screaming and cursing at him, punching the, kicking the, kicking the metal uh, elevator doors, punching a hole right out there. And this is a nice hotel, mind you. You know, so she caused damage to the hotel room. To the hotel room, no. But when we went out to the, you know, to the hallway, when I went out after the fact, like the next morning or whatever. <laughs> I did visually look, and I didn't see anything that I could see, but I didn't want to really look too much either. Right, so. right, okay. So no one was called up or anything? No one came up from well, the hotel I was, staff? I, was waiting. I thought that that was going to happen, So, but that never happened. So I guess, you know, that was good, I guess. I when know. she started acting like that, how was the baby? Did it seem normal to the baby? Did she, the baby seem frightened or anything? I mean, they were cut, they were out of my exact, they were out of my view, but um, I don't remember the baby crying or anything. I don't remember. I, I'm, it might have been, but I don't remember hearing the baby crying. I just remember her whacking around and, you know, punching stuff and just cursing and screaming as loud as she could. Wow. So when, when she was screaming, what was she saying? She was like, no, I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, you know, I, you know, I don't want to be in this relationship. Go be with Kaja. And then you could hear her throwing her ring. And I guess she snapped her necklace off. 
this is what you know what I heard when they came back to the room once we got her out of the hallway. I brought her back into the room, but they were standing kind of over behind like a partial wall, so I couldn't really see. But you know, they were kind of right over there. So right. um, you know, I could hear you know the ring tingle down, and he's like, "Oh, you're gonna throw my ring on the floor? You know why are you doing this? I haven't even done anything." And mm -hmm. uh, so, which he hadn't, he hadn't done anything. Right. Okay. So and then she was just triggered by you being there. She felt intimidated. Wow. I'm, I guess. So that violent behavior, I mean, do you think there's something that's like mentally wrong with her? Um, I think she's very aggressive and has a violent problem. Yeah. Yeah. So don't you think that that's like a danger to the baby that one day, you know? Oh, yeah. It could yeah. be unpredictable what kind of things she might do while she's having an episode like that. Because yeah. there's nothing that you can think of to rationally justify her behaving that way. So. Yeah, no, and like, I mean, it was, so I had asked to keep the baby a couple times that whole evening. So when this first, when her initial episode uh, tantrum where she went out and was, you know, punching the walls with the baby in her arms, and then she came back, you know, um, I had told, you know, because I said, you know, once I let him talk to her and I wanted to see where it went, and she said, uh, you know, and she said, calm down. He was just like gonna let it go and I was like oh it, once I realized that he was just gonna let it go I was like no 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 I said I can't have somebody in my life in my room doing that I said you're gonna have to go and and then you know immediately she you know and then he was like you're gonna do that to, to her you're gonna do that to my baby and when he said that you know of course my compassion kicked in and I was like no, I was like, no, the baby doesn't have to. I'm not kicking the baby out. I said, the mm -hmm. baby's going to stay here. You know, I said, she has to leave. And, you know, he's like, well, I'm not going to let her go out onto the streets in the middle of the night, you know, in some, you know, uh, you know, place we don't know. I said, well, then you can go too. You both can go and I'll take care of the baby until you get yourself situated. And they just looked at me like I was just crazy. You know what I mean? But my reason was, yeah, she was just ba kicking holes in the wall with the baby in her arms, flinging it around, you know, late at night. And, um, you know, but it's just like I said, he came back, he came back and he just sat us down and just talked to us and talked to us and talked to us for so many hours. You're just defeated after that point. So I was just like, well, I'll just let it go. You know what I mean? And he's like, do Lisa, you said, Elysio you talked to you guys for hours? Yeah. To you and Eliana? Well, Nana. Well, he's talking to me just... Because at that point, I was saying, no, I want her to go. And he was like, you know, he was trying to rationalize why I shouldn't do that. And in the end, it was because of the baby, you know. I mean, yeah, I would have preferred, yeah, I'll keep the baby and they, those losers can get out of here. But it wasn't, you know, it became a thing like, you know, of course they're not going to leave their baby with me, I guess. But see, in my mind, I was the better option. Right. But of course, somebody's parents are not going to choose that, you know. I mean, I, I understand that. But, you know, if they wanted to be nice, they would have left the baby and just got out of there. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I, I'm pretty sure you can understand why they felt like they didn't want to disconnect from their own baby. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, but it's good that you were concerned about the baby. Is that what made you want to help them get land? Yeah. Yeah. So they can have like somewhere stable to stay and not have to keep moving around. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I was going to benefit from that as well. Or so, you know, yeah. in my good scenario of what should happen. Because you were going to stay there with them? Well, I was going to, you know, I was going to, you know, be there for, you know, the initial purchase. And, you know, mm -hmm. I was going to look, I was going to choose what I liked. They were going to be there for support, you know, and um, and then, you know, I would purchase it. I would come back here, you know, to Babylon and, you know, uh, you know, just take care of my life here and then probably go back, check on them, you know, see mm -hmm. how things were doing. And, you know, assuming everything was still going well and, you know, they were being productive with, you know, that gift, then, you know, I would continue to let them stay there. I mean, it seemed like a good idea. Yeah, it does. So you're well off then, huh, financially? I'm okay, yeah. I could buy some land. 
Well, that's good. They don't know what kind of blessing they just missed out on. That's really unfortunate. Wow. So you saying there in South America, that was your choice or theirs? Um, we decided on some potential areas that we liked, yeah. Okay. And you said the rest of the carbonation crew is with them? Uh, no, they're they're on their way. Okay. So Sheba and her baby will have somewhere stable to stay. Well, I mean, I don't know. You know, they're they're on their own now, I mean, because I'm not there. So they're there looking for land in a place where they have no money now to get the land. So, oh, okay. So they didn't get the land. No, I mean, Nana flipped out the first night we got there. She's such an wow. idiot. I mean, this girl, she's just um, setting herself up for failure time and time again. Wow. So there's got to be something wrong with her. Do you think maybe she has like a a mental imbalance or something that she might need to see a psychiatrist, maybe get on some medication? Yeah, but she'll never do, she'll never get on medication. And he won't, you know, and he won't allow it. He, that, he not allow yeah. that at all. And yeah. I'll tell you another thing that I found out. You want What's some that? tea? Here is some tea, my friends. What's that? You know how everybody has been wondering, like they all say, well, like if there was any diseases among her or the baby, it would have been found out at her having the baby there in Mexico. But you know what she volunteered to me is that they tried to take her blood before having the baby and the baby's blood and they refused so their blood has never been tested for anything right 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 even though he did say that it happened it didn't happen yeah no she said no they they wouldn't let they wouldn't allow them to take anybody's blood mm -hmm. wow i wonder why they didn't want to let him test him i mean it's just be, being safe it's a precaution mm-hmm Wow. So you're not concerned about her being the main caretaker of the baby and having these episodes and the fact that he's like defensive of her in those situations? Like, you know, maybe one day her being like that and just not really being coherent of what she's doing, that she might actually harm the baby one day? Well, I mean, I would hope not. But if anybody was going to harm the baby, it'd be her. Right. And a lot of people are saying this. Okay, I can't say that this is something that's going to happen. God, mm -hmm. you know, no. But, I mean, I could see some tendencies there. Yeah. Right. A lot of people are saying this, and then for you to say it too, I mean, that's just a, a big cause for concern, you know. I think that, you know, some somebody needs to look into that. Definitely. I know you were saying that you would never give up their location, but I would like to think in the case of the safety of the baby, you will do it. Well, I mean, there's been nothing really that is illegal going on with the baby. As far as I know, too, not that I agree with it because I don't, but I don't think in um, a South American country like that one that they're in, I don't think that there's any sort of real laws against, you know, having a baby laying in the bed, you know, I don't know. I don't know the rules, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I think that if it was like, you know, to be based on that, I don't think it would fly. I think you'd have to have some serious, you know, uh, charges, some serious, you know, proof of something that you know was illegal happening. Although I don't, I don't know, but I don't, you know, I don't find it. Okay. Right. 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 Um, well, besides the, them, you know, whatever they're doing in the bed. I'm just talking about her and her mental instability uh -huh. and her potential to be violent and have these episodes. Uh -huh. I mean, that within itself doesn't, that make her a danger to the baby? I mean, yeah, but like I said, you know, I can't, uh, I can't say that she's doing anything with proof i can't say that so i mean other than what you saw well yeah her flipping I, I, out I, with I, no justifiable I, reason 
I just heard, you know, the punching and stuff when she was holding the baby. And that could just be speculation. Like, I didn't really see her holding the baby, but she did leave the room with the baby. So, I mean, you know things, but you can't really say that you saw it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So it does sound like you're kind of being defensive of her in this moment. And I guess I can understand why, because you're kind of compassionate towards all of them. But you also did say your main concern was the baby, you know? Yeah. You know, and you said that you were going to get them some land and come back and visit them. Yes, so did, did you just turn them off? I hear an echo. I don't know. I don't hear an echo. Okay. Well, you were saying that you were going to get them some land and come back and visit. The, the um, corporations that they're getting money from, is that um, why they're going to need to be on the land? No, I wanted land. I to wanted make an investment? Or, huh? To make an investment? Um, You know, I wanted to make an investment in land that you know would be nice for me to go spend time at but also i was making i was trying to make an investment in them and i was trying to give them a chance to you know fulfill this uh you know this utopia that they had you know supposedly you know wanted to do so it's really it just all comes down to her behavior that day and she really blew it yeah yeah, really blew yeah. It. and now everybody knows that, you know now everybody knows the kinds of things she does around the baby and while she's holding the baby. And that's real unfortunate. So, I mean, she did a double whammy on herself. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But you know, what? Why, why are they getting money from corporations, though? Um, they just they didn't ask for it. They just uh, the corporation gave it to them. So it was just a one time thing that I know of. OK. All right. So it was just one corporation. What was the name of it, you said? DreamWorks. DreamWorks, okay. So they didn't have to do anything for it? No, no. Company, they just, they seek them out and they, you know, give them a donation. I think that maybe they're trying to, you know, show them who they are so that maybe they'll have a step up in the future if, like, they ever do a document or documentary or some documentary or something on them. I'm not sure. I'm not really oh, sure. Yeah. I wasn't really mm -hmm. into that whole um, you know, I just had heard it casually that they had just given a donation. So Okay. So now they're um official religious corporation, five oh one C. Is that what, what is you that? were saying? Yeah. You're saying now they're official they're, religious they're under a religious protection. Um and they okay. have the paperwork that a lawyer grew up for them. I didn't I didn't personally have anything to do with the lawyer for that, but I was there and I heard that mm -hmm. they had finalized. So. Okay. Okay. So that's what they were doing in California. Yeah. Okay. So it's like carbonation is a official religion now. Um. Yeah, apparently so. I oh. haven't seen the paperwork, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's a real thing because, uh, you know, that's what they were talking about. Okay. Well, I know you were breaking it down earlier. Can you explain a little bit more uh, what that means? What, the religion thing? Well, yeah, the whole thing about them being incorporated or protected, because I know you were saying that means that they could, like, travel. Yeah, they can travel and... without being basically persecuted, which is what they were fearing you know, as far as going through Nicaragua, if they had had that paperwork or documents to show the police at the gate, mm -hmm. uh, apparently, you know, that would have squashed whatever, and they the, the the police would have had to leave until, you know, they were, you know, contacted by their lawyer or whatever. I'm not really sure of the specifics, but it, it gives them certain... Okay, because okay, then they can say, like, um, they're just practicing their religious beliefs or whatever. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what the paper said, but yeah, it protects them under some sort of, you know, law. I'm not sure. Okay, cool. 
All right. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I thank you for your time. Thank you. And so you you didn't really want to be a part of Carbonation, though? I mean, yeah, I was a part of it. I mean, more so, more so than just coming down and just getting the land and then going back home. I mean, yeah, that was my that was my goal. Okay. So that was like that was your job to do? Like somebody hired you, somebody sent you to do it? No. No, I don't work for anybody. That's what it sounds like. Okay. Well, all right. Thank you for your call. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right. All right. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting really tired. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't like to, you know, I'm not good at, like, cutting off phone calls and stuff. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm getting tired.